don't have an intro for my videos so i'm just gonna sing this song yeah that was the most terrible thing i've ever ever heard in my life hey guys today is another tutorial uh today's tutorial will be on sony vegas pro right over here going to be about the HD settings for Sony Vegas Pro. So, uh, the best one. So, I'm just going to open this up while it's loading. Because I had to go over here real quickly because it shows your last name on the Sony Vegas Pro. In case you didn't know that, I don't want you pervs looking me up. While it is loading, I uh, have a little thing to ask you guys. Uh, holy. Oh my goodness. I hate you. Much um, while it's loading, I have things to ask you guys. Um, there are two cameras I'm looking at right now. They're both relatively cheap, but they're pretty good quality. Because I don't have that much money to spend right now. I'm getting a bunch of Amazon gift cards so I can buy whatever the hell I want. From Swagbucks, which is awesome. But the two I'm looking at are the Sony Cybershot DSC W290 12.1 megapixel digital camera with five times optical zoom super steady image stabilization this one is a uh, really good camera I've looked at a bunch of reviews of it uh, its quality is a little bit less than the next one I'm about to show you but the pictures are much better but I'm just looking really for a video camera. and uh, this one the uh, Canon PowerShot SD 780is 12.1 megapixel camera this one is a lot like uh, the Sony Cybershot, except it's $30 more. And the quality is better in the videos from what I've seen. But I'm thinking about one of those two, and if you guys watch it, you can shit Windows, no, I don't want, okay? Okay? Fuck you, Windows. My bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, I should maybe edit that out. Nah. Uh, okay. Which one of those? No comment section below or send me a message or whatever review them for yourself well, which one you guys think I should buy okay so we're gonna go back down to Vegas Pro for the reason of this video and uh, oops so I'm gonna show you the best HD settings for Sony Vegas Pro uh, go to file new a new project under the video tab, select this template. Uh, HDV 720-P, 30P. For width, it'll be 1280. Height will be 720. Field order, non-progressive. Pixel re aspect ratio, 1. Output ratio, 0 degrees. Just leave that all basically default, it should be. Except for maybe this. Frame rate should be 29.97. Pixel format, um... From what I found out, in my early, earlier videos, like that I used to make like a year ago, these two would be better quality, but since I reinstalled Sony Vegas Pro, the 8-bit has been the better quality, so I'd go with the 8-bit. Full resolution rendering quality should be the best, you have to change that. Uh, motion blur, just leave that all default. And down here, you can click this if you want, it'll be much easier. Start all new projects with these settings. Go to audio, uh, master bus mode, uh, stereo, number of stereo buses, two, sample rate, uh, 44,100, four, four, bit depth, again, you can either do 8 or 24, I used to do 24, but now I'm going with 16, and resample and stretch quality should be best. And for the rest, ruler, summary, and audio CD, just leave those as defaults. Uh, now we're just going to import a clip of something. Bit PC. Or I'll just do this one. This is the uh, video I tried making before for this. It came out really terrible. Because I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, the drag clip down here. Wait for that to load. Load. 
then you're going to go, after you're done editing or whatever you want to do with all this, go to here. Uh, this is kind of pretty important. We're, uh, preview. Preview, what is it called? Preview quality. Go to best and full. Some people do auto, but watch the screen right around here, this uh, preview screen. Watch the difference between full, right there, and auto. As you can see, it's much blurrier. So we're just going to go with uh, best and full. After you're done doing that and editing, you go to render as. Uh, go to whatever file you want to save it in, and for save as t as type, uh, main concept abc or slash aac mp4. Uh, there's also main concept mpeg1 and mpeg2. You got to do the abc aac. Then you're gonna go to press custom and name the template whatever you want. I name mine HD template. Uh, click include video. Frame size, custom frame size. Width 1280, height 720. Uh, leave that unchecked. The profile main, frame rate 29.97. Field order non progressive, pixel ratio 1. Number of reference frames 2. And then just basically leave the rest equal. Audio, uh, sample, uh, include video. Mine wasn't quite clicked for some reason, so you have to click that. The sample rate, uh, 4. 44,100 and bit rate 128,000. Uh, for projects, just go to best video rendering quality. Click OK and save. Then this little box will come up. It'll be rendering. Usually, rendering takes a good 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how big uh, video it is. If it's a really edited and huge video, it could take up to like two hours. So. One time I had a video I had to do overnight, it was a project, and I had to leave it render for overnight, it took four hours, which is pretty crazy. So if you're going to have a huge video, make sure you have uh, plenty of time to render it. This one's going to take a long time, because it's like a seven minute clip, eight minute clip. Then you're just going to let that do whatever it has to do, make sure you have time. I don't have time right now, so I'm just going to press cancel. And that's it, those are the best. HD quality settings for Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, if you have um, any other tutorials you'd like me to do, or TechTube 84, leave me a comment, or send me a message, send him a message, whatever. And that's it. Uh, peace.